You're going down, Mr. Anderson. We'll see. Ooh. Zero. Zero. Miss. Three, two. Hit. Two, two. Three, three, hit, four, four, miss, three, four, hit, zero, miss, three, six. You sunk my aircraft carrier, miss. You sunk my battleship. Four, five, miss. Four, two, hit, miss. Miss, oh no, hit, hit. Oh no, wait, wait, miss. You sunk my submarine. Three, seven. Four, four, hit, miss, hit, miss, hit, miss. You sunk my destroyer! Three, three, miss, four, five, hit, miss, four, six. You sunk my PT boat! He plays in the same spot every time. You win, Mr. Anderson. Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about graphing ordered pairs on a coordinate plane. Whew, that's a lot to say. Coordinate plane. What is a coordinate plane? A coordinate plane is not one of those things that flies through the air. No, it is a plane or a two-dimensional surface or a place, a two-dimensional place where we can plane and which we can plot points. It helps us to plot points. And so a coordinate plane is made up of four quadrants. Quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. And in fifth grade, we are only concentrating on quadrant one. Each quadrant is made up of two axes. The x-axis, which runs left to right, and the y-axis, which runs up and down. And these act as a reference on the coordinate plane to help us plot specific points. So that's what we're going to do. Now, the first thing about our x and y axis is we start with our origin. Our origin is where they intersect the, in, in the intersecting lines or the perpendicular lines because they meet at a 90 degree angle, if you remember from last year and the year before that. So these perpendicular lines meet at 90 degrees and they have an origin. And the origin or the place where we begin is going to have a coordinate of 0, 0. So the origin is 0, 0 on our coordinate plane. Where are these x-axis? Now, it can, can, the x-axis can go left beyond that, beyond, behind that, and that'll get negative numbers, but we aren't worried about that. And, the y, and then it goes to the right to get positive numbers. And so these numbers will continue counting from the origin, because this is right here. So we're going to count this one as 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And we could do the same thing with our y-axis. Our y-axis, if we go below the x-axis, will be negative, but we, again, we aren't worried about that. But if we go above, starting with the origin, we're going to count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11. And like all other number lines, they may not be specifically like this with whole numbers. You may see decimals, you may see fractions within that 
coordinate plane or how they graph it, just like any other number line, but it's still the same. It starts with their origin and goes out in all directions from that. And then we are only fo focusing on the quadrant one or this area on the coordinate plane. So we have our x-axis and we have our y-axis and we have our origin where the, the lines are perpendicular and now, and we have it labeled, both x and y-axis, now we're labeled. So what, how do we get those? Well we have our, uh, you may see some graph like this. So we might see something like 4 comma 5 inside the parentheses. Well what are these? Well, this first one right here, this is going to be our x-coordinate. And what is an x-coordinate? An x-coordinate tells us how far left or right to go. And in our case, it's just how far right we go. Because next year, when you get to negative numbers, you would go left. But this year, we're only worried about positive numbers. So how far right? So this would be our running spot. And then, so you might say left to right. And then our other one is going to be our y coordinate. And this, this will tell us how far up or down. Again, we are only worried about going up, so how far up to go from the origin. So these are both from the origin. So how far up? Up from the origin. And if you want to put this over here, left to right, from origin, on the x-axis, that might help you as well. So these tell us where to go. So think of it as up, or so let right, how far you're running or dribbling the ball, and then the y-coordinate, how far up you go. So let's kind of go over this. So we're going to go over for four or five. Let's, let's practice a couple. So for the first one, we have 4, 5. So 4 is going to be my x, and I'll label it, and y, and 5 is going to be my y. Now notice, x in the alphabet becomes before y, so our coordinate is going to be x, y, so x before y. It's kind of, kind of another way to think about this. So for this, I'm going to go over 4, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, and I'm going to go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I went over 4, up 5, and then I'm going to put a dot here with my coordinates 4, comma, 5. So there we go. So now we've plotted a point on a coordinate plane. Way to go us! Woo! Let's do another one. Let's see if you can try this one on your own. Go ahead and try 2, 6. All right, so again, we're going to go over 2, and then we're going to go up 6, because this is our x, and 6 is our y. So we're going to go over 2, up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we end up with a dot there, 2, comma, and our y. Six. So how'd you do? Did you get it? Good. Let's try another one. Even if you didn't get it, we'll, we'll keep going. you get it. So this is our next one. Nine, seven. Nine is our x. Seven is our y. I want you to go ahead and try that on your own. All right. So we're going to go over nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Seven. Boom. There we go. So now we have nine, comma, seven. So we have our x left and right and our y up and down. So how far up we're going. So right and up. Dribble and jumping for the layup. All right. Next one. Oh no. I see that this is my x because x comes before y and it probably helps you to label these. 
but I have one that is six and five tenths. How does that work? Oh no, what am I going to do? Whatever am I going to do? Oh, I got it. We know that six and five tenths is halfway between six and seven. So, just like any other number lines, I, if I was to put a dot on the zero, I would put it right here. So, six and five tenths, and then I go up eight. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there we go, I know my dot would go there. It's halfway between six and seven still. And then, so I have six and five tenths, and my y coordinate is eight. So there we are, we have those coordinates. Not too difficult, is it? So I have a few that I would like for you to solve on your own. So the first one is one, three. Second is nine, two. Third, five, ten. And fourth, six and two and five tenths. I think you can do those. Have those ready to go over with your teacher. You are awesome. Way to go, high five. Thanks guys.